Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Leaf Lollipop firmware on the Galaxy Note 3. This firmware comes straight from Samsung, so it's fully stocked. For the most part, it's just an early copy of the ROM that will be rolling out via an over-the-air update in the coming weeks. But before you flash this on your own Note 3, make sure that you have the right variant. This firmware is only intended for the LTE variants of the N9005 model. And even if you have an LTE N9005, this will still more than likely not work if you have the AT&T or Verizon version, since those carriers like to tamper with their phones. And for a final disclaimer, you should know that this process will wipe all of your data, so make sure you have anything important backed up before you begin. So with all that said, there's a few things that you should knock out before you get to this point. One is install the Samsung drivers on your Windows PC. After that, you should also install the Android SDK, or a slimmed down version like Minimal ADM and Fastboot. That's because to be safe, you'll need to make a backup of a file that's already on your system. It's a PIT file, so the easiest way to get a copy of it would be to use ADB commands. But I've got those commands listed out over at the full tutorial, ready for you to copy and paste into a command prompt window. So head to the link in the description below this video to grab any files and get a walkthrough on how to backup your existing PIT file. Then there are two more things that you'll need to download. One is Odin, which is a firmware flashing tool for Windows. And the other is, of course, the leaked firmware. With those files downloaded, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, put your phone into download mode and connect it to your PC. That means powering your phone completely off, then pressing the volume down, home, and power buttons at the same time. After that, press the volume up button to confirm that you would like to enter download mode, then connect your phone to your PC with a good quality USB cable. So at this point, all I've done so far is installed the proper drivers on my system, make a backup of that PIT file, and put my phone into download mode. If you're all caught up, then the next thing to do is extract the contents of the firmware file. When you're done with that, you should be left with a series of tar.md5 files. Next, go to the folder with odin.exe in it, then right-click the file and choose Run as Administrator. At this point, just sit back and wait as much as a few minutes for Odin to recognize that your device is connected. You'll know when it's ready when you see this IDCOM box turn light blue with the COM port number. Once that happens, go ahead and click the AP button down here. Next, just find the AP tar.md5 file that you extracted from the leaked firmware zip. Select it, then click Open, and wait until this readout in the bottom left corner says Leave CS. When it does, click the BL button, then select the MD5 file that starts with the letters BL. Again, wait for it to say Leave CS, then click the CP button. This time you're looking for the MD5 file that starts with the letter CP. When that one is loaded up, give the same treatment to the CSC button. This next step will be a little different depending on if you have the 16GB version or the 32GB. If you have the 32GB in 9005, make sure that the Auto Reboot, Repartition, and F Reset Time boxes are all ticked. If you have the 16GB version, only check the Auto Reboot and F Reset Time boxes, not the Repartition box. With that done, go ahead and click the Start button to flash the Lollipop firmware. It'll take a good 5 or 10 minutes, and when it's done, your phone should automatically reboot. First boot will take longer than usual, so don't freak out if your phone is not booting up as quickly as it normally does. Then, if you have the 16GB version, you'll have to boot into recovery and perform a factory reset since you didn't repartition the device. But once all that stuff is out of the way, your Note 3 will be new and improved and running Android 5.0. But for a step-by-step -step guide on all of this, including all of the relevant downloads, be sure to check out my full tutorial at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.